friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are making a wonderful Christmas craft. This is my special guest. This is Addie, my niece, and we're going to make a gift for her mommy. So I am a huge fan of handprint art. Um, I made handprint art for my kids the whole time they were growing up and of course now their hands are slightly larger <laughs> than they used to be. So Miss Eddie Bug is gonna help me um, to make something really fun. So let's hop over to Design Space. I'll show you how to set it up. Yeah. And then, and then my, we will. My tummy is scratching. Your tummy is scratching. Um, and then we will hop over to the craft table and I'll show you how to wrangle little ones like this to do fun handprint art for Christmas. Okay guys, I'll see you there. <laughs> Okay, here we are on the craft table. So the first thing we're going to do, Bug, is we are going to roll up our sleeves, right? We don't want to mess up our pretty shirt, which, yes, ma'am. Which, by the way, guys, you see her shirt, hoping Rudolph ate the naughty list. That um, is another video that I made, and those um, cuts are going to be free this week. So make sure you hop over and grab those, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do, Miss Bug. Do you remember? And Kimbo is going to paint your hands. Yeah. And then we're going to put them on the canvas. So guys, what I have is I have some gold paint and I have a white canvas and this is 11 by 14. And then we have a sponge. Um, and this is, this is just a preference. Let me see it sweetie. This is just a preference, but the, um, the brushes are kind of a little, I don't know. They, okay, I'll do that one. They, they kind of tickle a little kids are like, oh gosh, that tickles. Okay, so the, the sponge doesn't tickle quite so much. Okay, so here we go, Bug. So we're gonna start, and we're going to paint all the fingers. Okay, lay them flat, all the fingers. And so guys, make sure that you don't have any puddling on their fingers. Kim, Kim that, that is really, really dark. Is it really dark? Don't you think it's gonna kind of look like some antlers? Kim, can I help them? Just a second, Bug. Let's make sure we get the puddles off, right? Kim, we want this to Kim, be perfect. Kim, you said I could paint a little bit. Yes, but I was gonna let you paint afterwards. Here, you can do your hand for one second. Now guys, this is important. This will actually dry pretty quick, so you don't wanna wait too long. Okay, little girl. So now guys, on your canvas, you want to go about three quarters of the way up. And then once their hand is down, you're gonna press a little bit just to make sure that it's making contact all the way around. And then Addie, I want you to lift straight up. Okay, baby? There you go. Yeah. Wow, that's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. Okay, so I recommend that you guys keep a bath cloth and wipe that hand off because if you don't, then you're gonna- It can come off! It can come off. Then you'll have a little one with, very good. You'll have a little one that's touching other things with the paint still on and then you'll kind of get it everywhere. So there we go. You are such a good helper, kiddo. Okay, so how about we pour a little more paint in oh, there, sure. please? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now Addie is three and a half. And so obviously, depending on how old the little person is, you may have to be a little more in control, especially with babies and younger ones. You got it? Okay. All right, let's do one more hand. Thank you. Can, did let's you say I one. could paint a little bit? I did say you could paint a little bit. Hold on. Let's get, let Aunt Kimbo get it all covered first. Okay. Yeah. No puddles, right? No, no puddles. puddles. But this is, I gotta wait a little bit. And you got, yeah. Okay. All right, and then you go for a second. Did you want to do it for one second? Yeah. Okay, and so guys, when you put it on the canvas, just make sure that you're getting it about the same, the, the same height as the other. And then what we're gonna do is with our Cricut, we're gonna put our design um, on with this. So it's gonna turn out super, super cute. Okay, girly girl, let's go. You ready? Yeah, Put this I'm gonna, down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay, we want it to be the same height as this one. I did slow. 
And then I'll press a little bit to make sure that it makes contact. And then straight up, yay! That looks so good. Okay, now you wipe your hands. Now guys, so this is the beginning. So we have her hand prints and then we're going to let this dry completely and we're gonna do our iron on piece. Can. Yes, can, I, can I paint a little paper on this? Yes, you can paint a little paper on that. Oh. Okay, so now we have our hand prints on our canvas and it's time to decorate the design around what's happening on the canvas. So I wanted this to be reindeer, of course, and I thought it would be really fun to not only have Rudolph, but to maybe like have some lights um, in his antlers to, um, you know, just add a little extra color, a little extra fun. Um, and just, you know, use whatever uh, colors you have for iron-on. I mean, it doesn't have to be these particular colors. But um, you do have to have red, right? Because you have to have red for his nose. <laughs> and I chose black um, for the Merry Christmas. Um, and then for Rudolph himself, I'm actually going to use like a foil, like a foil that's kind of a goldish color. So it kind of looks brown, but it's not bland brown. So I think this is going to turn out really, really good. I want to talk to you a little bit about spacing, though. So it's not always easy to get the child's hand in the exact spot <laughs> that you want it to be on the canvas. So um, here's a little tip for you. So once you get, what I did is you see this back piece right here. This is actually, I just went into shapes and made a rectangle and made it the size of my canvas. My canvas is 11 by 14. Um, just to give myself an idea spatially of how everything was going to work out. Now, of course, every child's hand is a different size. And then, of course, depending on where they put it on your canvas. So what I suggest doing is going over to shapes and selecting a square. Now, Addie's hand is about four inches by four inches. So now that I have this shape, I'm going to go up and um, just change it to be approximately the size of her hand. Okay, now that it is four by four, I can move it on to my design and just see, okay, how much room is her handprint going to take up? And so if I do it here and then I duplicate that, and so again, the handprint is going to be behind the design a little bit. Okay, so it's gonna look somewhat like that and her hand was moved over. They were roughly proportionate. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to measure um, how many inches this is to make sure that my Rudolph is actually, you know, the right size for the hand prints. So if you look here on the grid, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five and a half, five and a quarter, and that is actually where Addie's hand is. So I've already measured that and, you know, made this proportionate, but you can, you know, make it whatever this block, whatever size your child's hand is. And then the Rudolph, you can adjust him just by pulling at the corners <clears throat> to get him the size that you need him to be for yours. Okay, so now that we have that, we can take this and delete it and feel confident that we our cuts are going to line up with our little handprints. Okay, so there are my items and we're going to select make it. And this takes us over to um, look at all of the different mats. Okay, so we have our red, our black, our brown, yellow, green, and blue. And remember, because this is an iron-on project, we want to mirror everything. So it's easiest just to do that all at one time. And at this point, this is when you're going to connect your machine if it's not already connected. And once our machine is connected, it's gonna give us that opportunity to select our material. I'm using actually uh, just premium, regular premium iron-on for every element except um, for the deer. The deer is actually going to be a foil. Um, so pick whichever one you want to do first, you know, and go ahead and cut that. I think I'm going to do the deer first just because I wanna make sure that um, he is proportionate. I know I measured him, but being the way I am, <laughs> I want to go ahead and cut him first and just lay him down and make sure that, um, that he fits. And then I'll cut all the other elements to go around him. Okay. So he's already, um, mirror image and we'll go and select, let's see, uh, there's my adhesive foil. 
there it is. So I have this starred, which means that it's a material I use all the time. If you don't see, let me go back for a second, if you don't see the material or you don't already have a favorites list, because that's what this is, these are a favorites list where I've actually selected for it to be on my homepage. Um, but if you haven't, if you go to browse on materials, it's going to just show you the hundreds and hundreds of materials that you can choose from. Um, so, but since mine is already there, I'm going to select foil and now we're ready to place it on the mat and go to cut. And once I cut this one, I'll go ahead and do the same uh, process for each of the colors. So just putting that item on the mat and then coming back and, you know, selecting that one and hitting cut. Okay, here on the craft table, these are my materials. So this is my canvas and it's fully dried. So we're gonna set that to the side. And then I have my green mat and I have all of my different iron-ons. I have my uh, clear ruler and my cutter. And so what I wanna do now is I know that I wanna start with my foil. Um, so I'm gonna move my other materials to the side and I'm gonna cut my foil to size, looking at the mat on Cricut Design Space to make sure that I'm not wasting any material. So I believe um, my dear is going to be seven and a half inches wide by six and a half inches long and so I'm going to use my straight edge to make sure that I cut it precisely and save on my materials and I'll put it on my mat and we'll take it over to the machine and cut it and then we'll do that same process um, for each of the colors. Okay we've cut out all of our colors and now it's time to weed our designs so just flip them on the back See how easy that pulls away? So I have weeded out all of the colors and I even took a pair of scissors and sort of trimmed out um, the excess backer material around each piece. And now I've laid it on my canvas just to get an idea of what it's going to look like when we iron it down. You know, make sure all the elements fit and that kind of thing. Um, one thing to note is we are going to be layering um, the iron on in a couple of places, like the eyes um, on the reindeer are going to be layered. The key to layering is you can layer um, like every day on top of every day, that works just fine, but you cannot layer every day on top of glitter, right? Because there's a texture there and so it's just not going to adhere as well. Um, and then of course with this, you don't have to worry as much, right? Because you're not washing it. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna turn out really, really cute and we'll put all of our different colors on um, along the string of lights. It's gonna turn out really darling, but I am a total sucker for handprint art. Eee! And I've decided to use the Easy Press Mini. Um, so I actually have the larger Easy Presses, but I want to use the Mini because with the paint, um, I just want to make sure that I'm taking my time and I'm putting things in the right place and that um, I don't have any, you know, bleeding issue um, with the painting. So just a second before we get started, I am going to lay a ruler down and just make sure. I'm kind of going more off the hand prints than anything, but this is an 11 inch canvas. And so my center point is going to be five by five or 5.5. So you can see it's really pretty much in the center of the reindeer's head. So I think we're really good here. Okay, so I've got the deer um, in place. And the thing is, is if you recall, this is foil. The deer is foil. So um, I don't want to peel it off yet anyway, but foil, you have to wait till it cools. Most um, everyday vinyls, you can pull them off while they're warm, but foil has to wait till it's cooled. Otherwise, you're going to get bubbles. Okay, so the next thing I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our Merry Christmas in place. Um, and again, you're going to want to use your clear ruler. This is my lifeline here when it comes to doing these types of crafts. I have to make sure that everything is centered. And again, we're looking at 11 inch mat. So our center point's about 5.5. So we're good. Okay, so we will use the easy press and put that in place. And then we'll move on to each of the other elements. And then we'll uh, come back and peel these off. So I hope you enjoyed crafting that as much as I did. Um, I still have a number of these that I created with my boys when they were much smaller and I hang them in a little collage every Christmas. Um, I love pulling them out and just seeing how tiny their little feet and hands were. Um, so I hope you love this and hop down below, grab my design space file, uh, join me on social media and make sure you click the um, subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.